Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our previous episode, our adventurers attended a feast for the entire town of Korea in their honor for saving the town from the Shardana. Uh, they met up with a bard who they actually, who a few of them had heard while they were in another city, who was singing songs that seemed to be almost exactly about them. So he, the crew chatted with that bard named Zerthos. Uh, also, everyone, I think almost everyone, had, or maybe everyone got pretty damn drunk. I just cried. Yeah, Blaze was crying the entire time due to depression and not being in his body. On that 20, we're not oh, afraid to tackle yeah. those tough topics. You know? <laughs> it is. Yeah, so uh, the party has ended and it is the next day now. Uh, you guys had learned that there was a monster in a lake nearby to the east that Blaze and Aelrindal were wanting to check out. And Xerthos is traveling with you guys right now because yeah. you guys are planning on going or thinking of going to Ike after, which is the northeast. Right. And that's where he was going as well. Uh, so it is now in the morning, and you guys wake up in a uh, inn, which was supplied for you. And as you look around, you notice that Farron is not here. By the way, Sebastian is not here for this session, or probably the next two sessions, so that is why. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm no longer immersed. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have... Uh, Clayton's dog, right? Yes, uh, uh, Lovecraft. Lovecraft. Yeah, Lovecraft. Yeah, Lovecraft. Yeah. Who could forget about him? Yo, we really need to get a new joke. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we climb down like some big ass ladders and shit that he definitely shouldn't have been able to climb down? Yeah, Lovecraft, Lovecraft can climb any <laughs> obstacle. Right. Right. He just slides <laughs> down with his paws on the side. You know? He's like, what's the box? Uh, the cartoon box. Fox in the cloud? Yeah. Wait, is that... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Mr. Fox? Mr. Fant Fant Fantastic Fox? Mr. Fox? That's the one. Anyway, back to the end. Mr. Fantastic <laughs> Fox. <laughs> yeah. Except the wolf, but All we're right. in the game now. Uh, um, yeah, and so you wake up in... Pro I'd say you guys have three it rooms in the inn, so two people are sharing each. One person has their own, right? Yeah. And... Whoever was initially bunking with Baron, you notice he is not there. I don't know who that was, but it was probably me. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd say you and Baron are the closest. Cool. Who's with Shit. me? <laughs> <laughs> who, who was bunking with, with old Blaze in his Vatican form? I'm probably sleeping alone. I'm ugly. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sleeping outside of his crib. He's probably at the room alone. Hang out one more second. Hang out with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What did I do wrong? <laughs> yeah, I think it's fair to say I would have been probably uh, in the other rooms. Uh, yeah, the two edgy boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we go to mall. I want all their money. <laughs> We're just sitting in our chairs, Wait. like in each corner, just kind of staring at each other. <laughs> He's like the definition of an, uh, Aaron. Is like the definition of an, uh, a bad omen. And then you're like super superstitious. You're like, we're all gonna die. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. No, I'm Batman. All right. That's all I picked that night. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I assume you guys would all go like pack up your things and yeah. go down to the like main floor at the inn, get food, whatnot. Yeah, pretty much. All right. I... Some beef jerky. So aren't you super suspicious of Farron? Me? Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, are you both? Yeah. Both, because I I'm... think everyone is for you. <laughs> I think I <laughs> rolled like yeah. eight inside checks on him. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah, just... So you guys now see that Baron is not with Ryan. What you do with his body? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's definitely not the voice I had last time we were recording. I think it was like, "Ah, what did you do?" <laughs> no, that's definitely yeah. That, 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 yeah, that was closer. Whatever. whatever. Screechy and annoying. Uh, it's kind of like Toad mixed with Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying! <laughs> That's closer, yeah. That's Whatever, this is a fantasy uh, game. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Where did Farron go? Out. Just going out. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> and you did not actually see him leave. 
That's fine. I'm covered for him. <laughs> <laughs> I love my boyfriend. <laughs> Inside, see if he's lying to me. Because I know he is. <laughs> That's metagaming, Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> He's breaking the fourth wall. Oh. <laughs> um, the good news is, I'm, I don't know any different either, because I'm five. <laughs> I'm going to insight him as well. Yeah, I rolled you something. Are you really? Why are you covering for this random man who's clearly lying about his Ooh, past? 17. I don't think it can be that. Why can't I put my insight? Insight's second Oh, yeah, okay, so 14. Nice. Yeah, so you guys believe that he just went out. Uh, okay, you guys went out, but... Where'd he go? I don't know. He didn't tell me. I didn't ask. I don't really miss him. He'll be back. <laughs> yeah, not soon. I feel like that's really irresponsible of you. Of me. I'm not his dad. Yeah, but we're a party. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I'm sure he just has something to take care of. He'll be back when he uh, has. Right, is able to. Maybe he got engaged or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there was a wild party last night. <laughs> yeah, I had lots of fun! <laughs> also, sh shout out to Sebastian, who plays fair and who got engaged this weekend. Woo! That's me and Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, so back in game. <laughs> <laughs> so much for... Never mind. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna go down and get a beer. So I'm just gonna, I just take what he says, and I'm just gonna go downstairs and go to the bar. Cool. Okay. Oh, boy, I ain't taking that. No way. I'm gonna put on my, <laughs> my sleuthing hat. I'm gonna find, <laughs> I'm gonna find this little guy. Yo, what? I what know he's just somewhere. Let it be. Yeah. <laughs> trying to explain it away, Steve. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for him. <laughs> use, uh, use your wolf to track. Roll an investigation. No, uh, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I call <laughs> yeah. over Lovecraft, and I'm like, Lovecraft! No, he knows who I am. Does he? Uh, yes. yes, he does. Okay. We have to find, uh, Baron! <laughs> He's missing! <laughs> he wakes his tail and just, like, jumping at you. Okay, I hand him a piece of <laughs> Baron's <laughs> blood. No. <laughs> no, I don't have any, I didn't realize I don't have blood. Any. A piece of blood. <laughs> Just a chunk of blood. 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 A bunch of flesh. Okay. No, I didn't take anything from him. I'm like, uh, I give up. Yeah. <laughs> I realize I have no form of investigation. Well, he could have just gone up to the room and, like, had him sip his bed or something. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Lovecraft! <laughs> Follow me! And I'll run upstairs to his room and I'll have Lovecraft smell his pillows. Okay. Yeah, uh, Lovecraft smells the pillows and starts so I can stay out. He seems to have caught the scent. And then he walk he w walks like five meters to like around the center of the room and just starts sniffing there and he's like showing it this is where he is that that's where he was. There's <sighs> there's no trail going out of the room. I go to the center of the room and I look at the floor. Uh, the only difference is there's no dust in this small like circle in the center of the room. Suspicious. Um, can I try and like? Is there a trap door somewhere? <laughs> you can investigate. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's literally. I'm shaking. He's Scooby Doo. That's how this is. No twenty. Yeah. So. You... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, seriously, guys, let's get some new jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you don't find any trap doors, but you do sense like almost a dark magical sense that it's just really faint on your senses in this circle. Is it like that teleportation magic again? It seems similar to it, but not the same as what do you notice in Sills? No, not Sills. In Avranches or Summer Sail. Okay. Uh, it's kind of disheartening. I'll leave then, I'll come back down and I'll tell the group. Uh, he seems to have teleported away! <laughs> I don't know where he is! <laughs> On a good note, though, my voice is slowly coming back! <laughs> That's not a good note. Uh, uh, Should we wait for him to come back? No. <laughs> I think so! <laughs> we just sit around. Um, no, I'm sure he'll be fine. He seems like he knows his way around. But 
His whole character was that he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does know where you guys are headed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, of course. I'll leave a little note on the middle, the floor, just right there in that little <laughs> circle, and I'll be like, uh, Dear Pharaoh, wherever you are, <laughs> we went to the lake with a monster in it. See you soon. Signed, Blaze. Right. But messy, because I, I get a, I get a <laughs> of mouth hand, so it's kind of messy. Oh, it's gross. It's going to drool all over the paper. <laughs> no, the, the mouth hand doesn't drool. All right, it only eats. Is that going to like an esophagus running all the way up to arm? Yeah, it's a really creepy like, feeling. Like gross. Like Ooh. Gatora from Mendarto. Oh, yeah. Arcadora. Explosion! <laughs> Art is, Art is an explosion! Uh, so I'm I'm done at the bar. I'm going to get my tankard. Okay. It's like... Yeah, so you're able to get a tankard. Because oh, yeah. you guys are the heroes of this town. You're pretty much drinking or eating for free. Nice. You bet it for free. Um, Sweet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, uh, can I get, uh, two for me and one of my other friends? <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, and then he goes to pour, like, the ale or whatever you're asking yeah. for. Yeah, whatever he's got on tap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some, some Rickard's red, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys carry, uh, Belgian Moon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take whatever's on whatever yeah, the next one. Um, and then I'll, uh... Yeah, so you have to see the tankers. Awesome. I, I'll flip him a silver piece. I'll say, uh... Good for you. Stay golden. <laughs> or should I say, stay silver? <laughs> I could feel that coming. Yeah, yeah. Ha have a good breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't call me out like that, man. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's morning. <laughs> I just walk up. Do you guys walk. have milk? <laughs> Got milk. <laughs> I like a glass of milk. He pours a glass of milk. Fucking <laughs> A! <laughs> okay, I walk out the door. I'm gone. I'm walking uh, out the door. You see Zerthos come down the stairs is, like from his own room. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> that creepy son of a bitch! <laughs> and he'll just ask, are you guys heading out now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're staying here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're heading out right now. I like your style. And he's like, he looks at the beer drinking for breakfast. Oh Thanks. Do you want this other one? Hell yeah. <laughs> I give it to him. Okay, he'll take it and like. Great! <laughs> Two alcoholics! <laughs> so we head it up now? You already asked us that. <laughs> yeah. So let's head up then. Alright, I'm already outside. Yeah, I'm walking. I take the tanker with me. Going. We're going to the lake. I know we're going to the lake. I don't know where the lake is. Uh, you know what it is. Yeah, so it's, it's like, this lake here. Yeah, what's oh, it called again? I, I, I fucked up and I described the map because I hurry up should have been here. Uh, okay. Because the lake with the mermaids is here and like the lake with the monsters there. Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to the. Let's go find some mermaids and steal a ship and kill a bunch of people. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> uh, okay. I like that violence. Um, <laughs> uh, do we have a do we have a cart? I don't recall. Like we had any sort of no, because no, we came back from the the depths. The depths. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we could we could ask for one. I'm sure. No, I I think you do have a cart because I think when you guys are talking to the to Lord Gumshot, I think Baron said that he picks up a cart and forces him instead of. Uh, yeah. Pay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you disappeared. You notice right. that the cart and horses are still where they are prepared. Well, right. let's get nice. some parents. Yep. <coughs> first things first, we have to name the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Mario and Ronald. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <coughs> yeah, I no. say. Uh, what's the? What's name one lunch and one dinner? <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm just trying to be funny. Okay. How about lunch and then one is afternoon tea? <laughs> yeah. Dustin, Dustin, the I like uh, it. It's edgy. Ah, uh, it's too crazy. <laughs> no. I'm calling the one afternoon tea. You can't stop me. I'm gonna call him AT for short. I'm also calling shotgun. <laughs> I wanna drive. 
I don't think I want to drive! Are you physically able to drive? I want to drive! <laughs> I want to drive! I get yeah. up to drive. You will have disadvantage on any, oh, uh, like, all right, <coughs> tra- uh, like cool. transportation checks. Okay. I'm just going to walk beside the car. Okay. Why would you do that? Is the car actually, is it going to be big enough to hold all of us? Like, is it yeah, that's what I asked for. Okay. Uh, yeah, you'd probably be able to all fit in. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm going to... I'm gonna strategically sit near the exit in case things go wrong. Okay. <laughs> I really love this great trust we have with each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah, trust. <laughs> 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 um, get up! <laughs> cool. All right, we're just taking off. We're just going uh, okay. I still have the tanker in my hand, by the way. I just okay. Took the class. Okay. What do What do I roll? Then? Uh, just roll a. Uh, What's it called? Uh, animal handling. Yeah, for animal handle, handling check. With disadvantage. And the rest of us will roll survival. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I rolled a 19 with yeah. disadvantage. Yeah, you're wow. able to keep everything under control and keep the horses on track. Don't ever doubt me, Dan! Yeah. Still got the horses in the back. <laughs> So that's it. We're done. This <laughs> podcast is over. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> All right, continue, Gage. So you know from where you are and where the lake is, you know it'll take about a day, maybe a day and a half to get to the lake. All right, let's role play every minute. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so you first meet this one deep gnome. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm gonna roleplay in real time. <laughs> a day and a half. Oh man, if only I didn't have a job. <laughs> uh, so, for like the first half of the day, you don't actually see anyone else traveling towards here. Uh, roll an insight check. It's our button. Insight? Yeah. Oh, great. I rolled a 19 again. Oh, yeah, 19. Three. That's a nat one. <laughs> you yeah. suffer an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Lazarus and Blaze, you guys assume that since Silsby is probably still under, like, defense, I guess. Not under siege, just defen- defense in case the Shardana come. And that the Shardana have probably hit the other islands already, that that's why there's no other people you see on the trails. Oh. That would be in one hell of a mood! <laughs> uh, so, you keep traveling for about half a day, and then you finally get to uh, a place where you can cross the river around right here. Can we cross it with a car? And, yeah, like, there's a bridge to cross oh, over. Sweet. And as you cross over it, you hear, like, the super fast rushing of water, and... Uh, far in the distance, you do see another cart coming your way as well. Oh, I think a troll. Like a troll's in the Somebody gets far a little. I'm gonna just play cool, move the cart over a little bit so there's room for both of us. You know, just like, we'll make eye contact. But also, while not maintaining eye contact, I will maintain eye contact through the corner of my eyes. <laughs> And with your hand, yeah, eye? yeah. or no? Yeah, yes. Only, is it only a mouth, or is it's it like just a mouth? Another There's no eye. Okay. Okay. That would have been dope. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna stand in the back of the cart and pull out a warhammer and just look super intimidating. Forge domain. <laughs> forge, <laughs> forge, forge, forge. <laughs> so as you get close to this cart, you do see there's a sign on top of it, and um, you do see that the person like driving the cart is in like full stereotypical wizard uniform, so like the. Yeah. Cloak with like the the like purple cloak with stars on it and with the pointy hat Amazing. and stuff like that. Is his name and he's got like uh, uh, he's got a handlebar white mustache. He seems like a somewhat of an older guy. He's a half elf. And when he approaches, when he gets closer, he kind of waves to you to stop and says, uh, "Welcome." Welcome, welcome to Mr. Myth- Mr. Mithers, Mystical Mystics. Ah, uh, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> say that again. <laughs> I'm Mr. Mr. Mither. I'm Mr. Mithers, and this shop is Mr. Mithers, Mis- Mythical Mystics. Would you like to buy anything? 
Do you have the spell Wish? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no use for you. <laughs> I have a bunch of magic items or like magic any stuff you could buy if you had if you felt like it. All right, what do you have? What you got? Uh, so I'll just tell you all the stuff if you guys think anything sounds interesting. Let me know. I have thirty gold. <laughs> So, sorcerers, spectacles of hindsight, rocky talkies, Zalmoth's homemade peanut br- br- brittle, the bobby fish, tomb of pseudo magic, destination dagger, bag of eleven mystical herbs and spices, bag of holding, Boromath's bottomless bottle, Ronith's rod of setting, the peril sensitive sunglasses, and the immovable rod. Yo, uh, I'm interested in the tome of pseudo magic. Bottle. Okay, okay I'll, I'll just go around. Oh, and say yeah. it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Can I take a look at this tome, please? Yeah. So he passes you this tome, and it's like this. Uh, it's this large book that almost looks like it would be an encyclopedia type thing, and so he tells you this is what this is. So once per day, it can be used to create a fake publication. To back up the user's claims. <laughs> it has Blaze written all over it. What? And I'm, I'm it'll like, be 50 gold pieces. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I only have 30! 30. 31 gold pieces. <laughs> I actually only have 30 gold, though. I'm sorry. Do you have anything you'd like to trade? Sell your body. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I got two mouths. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh... Let me see here real quick there now, though, man. Uh. Um... I have two lucky lone brews. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if it's 30 gold pieces and two lucky lone brews, I'm down. All right. How about... Yeah. <laughs> was it? Oh, maybe it... I think it was five gold pieces each. Yeah, it wasn't that. Yeah. Sorry. Was these cool. wondrous items of lucky lone brews, you'll love them. <laughs> oh, I, I've had these plenty before. <laughs> All right, Yo. 30 gold pieces and a lucky lone brew for the tome of... Two lucky lone brews. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I wish that's when after Aaron Dub died, because before like he didn't drink at all, so I didn't buy any, and yeah. now I'm like... Sucks. What's this thing called? The tome of what, sir? Uh, pseudo magic. So once per day, it can be used to create a fake publication to back up the user's claim, and it's a DC 18 to see th- through the claim. Holy oh, shit, that's really good. That's I feel like that's gonna be used on us a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he can make his own history. Yeah, yeah. really. But bam. <laughs> uh, uh, so there yeah. was okay, so there was the bottomless bottom or something else, but I can't yeah. remember what it was. Yeah, so it was the uh Boromath's bottomless bottle. So it's a bottle of cool crisp beer that always immediately refill refills. Okay, how much is that? that. Uh, it'll be 50. <laughs> okay, uh, there was something else on the list and I can't remember what yeah, it was. Yeah, so I'll go through all of them again. Okay, okay cool. thank So you. there's the Sorcerer's Spectacles of Hindsight, the Rocky Talkies, Zalamoth's Homemade Peanut Brittle, the Bobby Fish, the Destination Dagger, the Bag of Eleven oh. Mystical Herbs and Spices. The Destination Dagger. Okay, so What's yeah, that? Uh, he picks this up and tells you... Uh, once you're tuned to it, if you throw the dagger, you can choose to teleport to the dagger. Oh, what? How, uh, awesome. Well, how much is that? Expensive. Uh, it'll be 200 gold pieces. Fuck. <laughs> how, how much gold do you have, Tony? <laughs> I have 204. <laughs> what? How do you have so much money? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I started off with a lot and I just kept getting more. Yeah, you uh, haven't really bought anything. No, so. I've been pretty careful. You should buy that dagger. Uh, it's a good dagger. Uh, <laughs> And then what was the blobbly fish in the peanut brittle? The blobbly. Yeah, blobbly. so the blobbly fish. Blobbly. So <laughs> when you put it in your ear, you learn, oh, you can learn oh. a new, you learn three new languages for the day. Wow. And then the peanut. Really yeah, like it refreshes every day. Sweet. And then the peanut brittle. So the peanut brittle, uh, has all moths homemade peanut brittle. A can of peanut, peanut brittle, when opened, 1d6 fake snakes fly out. After five seconds, the no after yeah after five seconds, flying snakes fly out and it recharges daily and they like attack and stuff. So like one of those like is that supposed to be like kind of like one of those fake cans that you buy? Yeah, exactly. Oh my God, yeah. That is what uh, what what damage does the snakes do? I'd have to look look it up. Okay, yeah, those are some snakes. sick items. 
Um, How much is the snake thing? Uh, that is 50 gold pieces. Nice. Ah, yeah, well, I have no more money. But... Yeah. Um, I can't believe there's so much money. Uh, would you be willing to uh, sell the Destination Tiger for uh, 150? No, oh, we cannot. <laughs> no, that's too little. I'd have to at least have 180. What, what about a, a fair one seventy five? No, trade him stuff. One um, one eighty, or you, you could trade stuff. Yeah, uh, your friends here. Uh, We're gonna piss off every shop guy we meet. If we keep this up. <laughs> oh, uh, how about one fifty and a, a dark vision ring? I don't remember how much they were worth, but that'd be worth about twenty five gold pieces, I think. Okay. Wait, we have dark vision rings. I yeah. took one. The, the, yeah. I forget who gave us uh, them, but yeah. Uh, Alcaro from the depths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. No, no, not Alcaro. Oh. Uh, I don't. Oh, we got him from the like, depths, though? We got them before you went to the depths. Oh, yeah, someone gave them before. Yeah, someone gave them to us. And I took them anyway. So. No, we got it from, yeah, the, the, the king. So yeah, Zix creature. Yeah, yeah. I, get, I have dark vision, but I took one anyways to sell, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, make it. Uh, 175 and the ring. That's that's worse than your last deal, man. I don't know. Uh, uh, the ring in the You see, I, I have to sell this after you sell it to me. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a good ring. Um. Uh, one sixty and the ring, and we have a deal. Yeah, I can I can do one sixty. Oh, so I'll, I'll give him the ring and okay, and the the gold. Where's all my gold? But that's okay. Can I try and sell one of my paintings? Uh, this guy doesn't look like he's into paintings or like art. Yo, look first. I'm sorry, I just really want money. What's that every painting you wanted? Yeah, okay. I mean, it's all I can really afford. So much for the immovable rod. Ooh. That's a good one. Uh, 100 gold pieces. Ooh, much you have. Hard bargain. How much for the bobbly fish? <laughs> Uh, that is 200 gold pieces. Okay, well, I'll take the removal rod for... <clears throat> Sorry. I'll just... uh, how about 90 gold pieces for the removal rod? Yeah, I think that, that works with me. Alright, cool. I'll take it. Yeah, so, for, do you know how an removal rod works? This is like a button you click and yeah. it stays in place. Right? Yeah. Cool. Now, first... Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, so there were two, like the spectacles or the shades? The shades. The peril sense of sunglasses? Yeah. Okay. So, there's sunglasses, he explains to you, there's sunglasses that go black when there's danger, danger around. So, what do you, what you don't know can't hurt you. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That doesn't sound like you. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, funny though. That's from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. I don't really have any gold to buy anything else. Would you like to buy a dragon scale? Remember? <laughs> when did you become a dragon? No, I It's not from that dragon. I bought a dragon scale. Oh, yeah? From the other yeah. guy. Oh. The dragon person. Oh. oh. Uh, he says, no, uh, I only deal with uh, magical and mystical items. You don't know the magic Sit of a dragon scale. There's magic that you can eat in that dragon scale to create more magic stuff, but a dragon scale itself is not, ma ma not do magic. You seem pretty handy. I'm sure you can figure something out. <laughs> I do not create my own items. I find them and sell them to others. Yo. How much money do you have? <laughs> Is there anything I could do to trade for the snakes? Fifty gold worth piece of like hard labor? I don't know. <laughs> I'll mow your lawn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> again, again, I only deal in magic, and I only take trades and uh, That's money. Fair. Uh, oh. Sith only deals in absolutes. <laughs> What's the a good dream nightcap? What is that again? Oh yeah, whenever you put it on and you sleep, you always have good dreams, right? Oh, I'm gonna yeah. turn on and be like, "Do you ever have a nightmare?" 
I'm not telling what it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell what it says. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pitch it. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm living in one. <laughs> Do you ever have a restless night? He or? sees your face. I went, he's like, yes. <laughs> I, I go in there. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> you don't want to see this every night. Am I right? Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> what I have here is a special nightcap. Do you, once you wear it, you'll never have a bad dream again. Only good dreams. Only happy dreams. I like that. Sell to you for 50 gold pieces. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not worth it. <laughs> what do you how mean? About, it's how about 20? How about, oh, fucker? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, negotiations are broken down. Well, now we have to age restrict this podcast. I need, like, <laughs> <laughs> looks like the negotiations were cut short. That's two Star Wars references. <laughs> okay, well, I need 30 more gold pieces. How many can I cram this episode? <laughs> uh, uh, alright. Uh, I'm like, that's fair. I, I'll just keep it then. Okay, sounds good. Sorry. Is there anything else I would like here? Um, no. I really wanted those spike snakes. <laughs> the dope. <laughs> or, actually, um, no. There's that another no. rod, right? Yeah, the Ronith's Rod of Extending. So it's a light wooden rod that when rubbed, it lengthens as long as the user wants. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you really could be Pinocchio. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to buy anything. Okay. I'm going to choose not. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want to lend me 30 gold pieces? I could, but. I'll give you four steel daggers. Okay, sure. <laughs> Sweet. Right. And then I'll sell the good dream nightcap for 20, and then can I buy the snake thing? Bought. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but he. Oh, it's only. Is that cool with you? Well, yeah, I'll give you four. Like, it's not really a good deal. No. Four it's steel daggers. I, I could probably get four daggers for like 10 gold pieces. Gold yeah. pieces. Daggers are worth like two gold pieces. Yeah. Alright, but it's fine. It's for the party. <laughs> are you buying it? I'm you buying the snake can. Oh, okay. What? They do damage. Okay. And yeah, I'll sell the good dream nightcap. Can I try and convince him to give me an extra five? For it? Is it good dreams? Yeah, he'll he'll buy it for twenty five. Uh, oh, he will. Oh, okay. Because that's that that's that peanut brittle can, right? The yeah. peanut brittle can yeah. that shoots snakes. Yeah. You just gotta like we gotta come across some enemies, you know, and be like, hey. Or is it? It's oh, reusable, is it not? Yeah, I want some peanut brittle. The peanut brittle, I can reuse that, right? Well, yeah, it, it recharges daily. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that's be pretty dope. Hot and they drop it for a sack. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, it's some fruit. I'm gonna put it in the bag of holding. Okay. What? Are there any other items you guys that we didn't want to check out? Uh, so there's the spect Sorcerer's Spectacles of Hindsight. So when worn, if a spell misses or fails, the user will not lose that spell slot. And that's twice per uh, long rest. Ooh, that'd be good for you. That's actually really good. Wow. I've got my spells constantly. How much is that? It's 200 gold pieces. Yo! I have this hat. <laughs> you want to wear this hat to have good dreams and then wear this hat to get extra drunk? Uh, uh, we could probably find them again, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm Mr. Mithers, Mythical Mystics, yes. Yes, yes. Do you travel often? I do, like, that's my whole business. I travel everywhere on this. Do you have a card? Like, I have a teleportation circle number? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, Don't worry, my usually, mom your mom and <laughs> usually, I end up where someone needs me. Ah. Or needs something. So, I, hopefully, we'll meet again soon. So, he shows up just when the plot calls for it. <laughs> I like it. Well, we'll definitely be buying from you again, no doubt. Great, great. And do you want to know what the other stuff did? Yeah. yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, so the spectacles, uh, rocky talkies, you know, bobby fish, you know, the bag of 11 mystical herbs and spices. So when used on food, it'll make the food the most delicious food that the user's ever eaten. Who heard of that? That only has like six uses though, right? Eleven. That was something I thought I made up. Nice. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. You didn't. Um, <laughs> that's cool though. Oh. No, I've heard about it somewhere else, that's all. It's okay. uh, the, the secret recipe to camp secret. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, bag of folding, you know, uh, Boromath's bottomless bottle, I think I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is everything then. 
Cool, yeah, okay. Well, let's move on. All right, that's yeah. listening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your good business. Th Thank you for your business. Uh, if you see a man who, uh, if you see a card that's called, uh, wait, where is it? Fuck me. Uh, oh, God. If you see a card that's Mr. Mister's Myth Mystical Mythics, do not talk to him. He's a fucking bitch. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for the language. Yo, All right, man. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> Why? What, what did he do? He's my brother, and he stole a lot of stuff from me. Did he he stole it for cheaper? He's stuff cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> can we steal your stuff back? Yes, and you can. Oh. And we is, do I smell a side quest? Highway robbery! <laughs> I'm already on a quest. That's a Shrek crow. <laughs> uh, if you see it out of my swamp. I absolutely <laughs> shouted that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm already on a quest. If you're able to see, like, take back all of my stuff, I'll let you choose anything from my card for free. Why don't we just steal it and, you know, not bring it back? <laughs> I mean, that's the... Dick move. <laughs> <laughs> That's the risk you'll have to take, I guess. <coughs> Alright, if we see him, we'll fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be able Don't to... kill him, just fuck him. Oh, yeah, I just that, yeah. <laughs> right, uh, no promises. <laughs> just some broken lands. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> see ya, Mr. Methers! <laughs> Alright, let's look for Mr. Mister now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that... And we're heading to the lake now, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so you cross the river, and... Uh, you see you are starting to get into a bit of a mountainous region. So the foothills are starting to get higher and higher, and there's... Higher and higher. Some snow starting to be on a few of them. You see, you see peaks, like mountain peaks a lot closer, and really high ones way in the distance see snow on them and it is getting a little bit more chilly but you're still fine where like how you are okay how far is the lake sir uh it'll be in uh you've been traveling for about half a day so it'll be another round day maybe a little bit less okay um uh, yeah i guess we'll just travel till we camp then yeah sure. and then keep watching stuff yeah so you travel another quite another ways and every once in a while you hear the howl of wolves or hoots of owls ooh, and ooh, ooh, ooh. as you pass by you do see a, as you pass along this path you do see a few bears in the bushes nearby in the trees and uh, yeah, you don't encounter any other people of any kind as you're traveling here and you hear like, at the back of the car, Zerthos is just, like, playing a little ditty while, while you're traveling. It's nothing that you recognize as being your stuff. It just seems to be, like, something about history a long time ago. We're gonna make the cart, like, take a wavy route from side to side <laughs> to the music. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! Imagine if you're just singing, he's, like, singing about how a bunch of people are chewing on a cart and they all got attacked and got... <laughs> just fucking died. <laughs> yeah. We're all just sitting there on edge. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So, what's his name? Zareth Zareth Zarethos. Yeah. Any cool stories about your travels before you met us? Aside from, you know, being all creepy and knowing everything we fucking did that was, that was out of this world. But. Uh, I haven't, like, recently, I haven't gone through many uh, encounters of any kind that are very interesting. Like, the last one that was really weird was... Uh, almost dying to those. Did I say they were gnolls or orcs? I or don't remember. Bandits, I think. Yeah, I yeah, said bandits. And that's when you came back to. Like, yeah, that's when I met with the master. Uh, before that, yeah, it was just occasional things like um, having to fight a few gnolls off or some goblins, stuff like that. Rest every once in a while, we rescued a few. Uh, people who were taken captive. Uh, yeah, I used to travel with like an actual band. Like there were four of us, so I was the singer and played the mandolin, and then we had a drummer and harpist and a uh, flautist. 
What uh, happened to them? We kind of just went our separate ways. Like, we weren't making any money at that point, and traveling was taking a beating on us. So we decided it would, be, it would be better if we just went our own ways. We were getting into fights a lot, and it just wasn't a good dynamic. What was your band's name? Uh, don't. Tony, don't. I, I just want to know. Okay. Sheila and the Rebel. Ah. Oh, I told Tony not to, and then you did it. <laughs> I I actually, apparently they were from a different dimension, or like, universe, as I was. Somehow they got here, I don't know how. What were the names? Oh, no. <laughs> this is not a fucking crossover episode, guys. Let it go. Alright. Small world. <laughs> I know what it's like to have a wacky dynamic in your group, though. Sometimes I feel like these guys don't even like me. <laughs> are you breaking the fourth wall right now? <laughs> these are real tears! <laughs> How many times can we metagame or break the fourth wall in this episode? I think, Four times. I think everything we say has a little bit of truth to it. <laughs> I want to kill. That was heavy. <laughs> um, Good boy, Blaine. So, that was a funny joke. Yeah. Uh, what was his band's name? Uh, it wasn't actually Shida and the Rebel. Oh, so yeah, I, yeah, I figured that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Uh, we were uh, the charm, the definite frightened. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those DMs. <laughs> DMs. Yeah. I love it. Right. You, uh, guys have any hit songs? Charm, definitely. Uh, we like to think we did, but no one ever really liked us much, so no. <laughs> That's a fine change. Can I ask for some advice? Sure. <laughs> How do you make people like you more? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm actually role playing. Uh, <laughs> I had a lot of trouble. <laughs> Trying to interact with other people in my party. You just like be nice to them, be funny helps. Um, <laughs> oh, you're fucked. <laughs> just being entertaining helps in general. Like not taking yourself seriously. I don't know <laughs> stuff like that. I guess. Why are you laughing? It's a serious thing, man. <laughs> because we're just all sitting there, and it's just. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you're all listening. What? <laughs> we're all in the car. Fair enough. We're <laughs> together. That's what Fair I'm laughing. <laughs> so extra all sitting. Right? <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, but yeah, we'll just like. I I don't know, especially with this form I've taken recently. I just it gets harder and harder. So you weren't always like this. No. Uh, well, so, I used to be a beautiful tabaxi. What what are you now? Because I I don't actually know. Sorry. I uh, I identify as a runnerkin, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean I have one, but I identify as a tabaxi. Oh, yeah. that's what I meant to say. How long have you been like this? Too long. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I think like a week. But <laughs> is that why you're heading to uh, Ite to try to? I'm the magical man. Yeah. Oh, okay. I would really like to not be this anymore. Yeah, I understand that. Um, I'm What is? <laughs> yeah, I heard, you, I heard you muttering. We're all in a cart, remember? It's quite a shame that you can't get along with your uh, companion. So, no way to live. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> how, how can I be more approachable? Learn to play an instrument. <laughs> or like a multi classes of bar. Right? <laughs> yeah, no. You think that'll help? Definitely. <laughs> what, what is your game plan? <laughs> there, there's gotta be an ulterior motive. Okay. Uh, uh, if we're fucking with Blaze, we're having a good time, right? Learn to play. An instrument. Put that in my notes. <laughs> this is some good character building. No, what kind of kind of instrument? We, what's the good one? I learned how to play a flute and I changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got two mouths, so you can play two at the same time. <laughs> I, I turned to Zara. I always forget Zara Thor. Zara Thor. What's a good instrument? What's like an easy beginner instrument? Uh, drums probably are, would be. One of the 
least difficult ones to do you, uh, learn. But again, each and every instrument is difficult to learn. Do uh do my my drums of comedic timing go off? Nothing funny happened, but we're talking about drums. No, All right. <laughs> I forgot you had those. I know, yeah. I do too. And then there's been so many good moments. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna get us killed one day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just just Bla- Blaze will just focus on the road again and kind of put like a you know, like a thoughtful face. Now he's thinking about which instrument he wants to learn. Two thoughtful faces. No, there's only a mouth on the left hand. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> Your mouth hand looks thoughtful. Yeah. Well, no, he's just thinking now of what instruments he should get. Not thoughtful, smart. Wouldn't that be interesting if you could speak from both mouths? I can. Can you? So the, can you... That's the joke because I've been doing yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. You just have noticed. Well, could you be saying two different things? I'm thinking like a cool strategy with this is like I'll be talking to someone and I'll use my hand to like say something else, distract them. You could talk to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Blaze blinks back his get, tears and uh, <laughs> or while playing the instrument you can harmonize with yourself or you could be like a uh, ventriloquist you know like just going <laughs> and be like drinking water and be talking out of your hand we reached camp yet <laughs> <laughs> is this episode over yet <laughs> uh, so yeah you travel for a, long, a lot more time and it's starting to get dark now Again, you haven't encountered any, like, monsters that, like, come towards you. you th- a few of you thought you saw a owl bear in the woods a bit far off. Shit. And a bear owl a bit further off in the woods. What do you mean back in the menu, bro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and unless there's anything you want to do while you're traveling specifically, I can just say you're, like, it's the end of the day. I think we should fight the bear owl. <laughs> I think we should capture the bear. <laughs> you keep it as our pet. You think it'd be, uh, we already have a wolf, guys. We don't need a fucking Albert. We love love Get together. together. Yeah, and we can forget about them both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think I think I think everyone's pretty good. Okay. No, let's just settle down for camp. Yeah. I'm despairing. I don't. <laughs> Honestly, I don't trust that guy. Oh, we gotta talk about him on his back. Okay. All right. And, uh, that was a perfect time to talk about him. I didn't know he's not here. <laughs> but uh, I don't trust him. He's too sh- shifty. I would want to be fine if he didn't show up again. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just feel like he's not telling us everything. He's not. <laughs> exactly. That's the problem. And how would you know? Yeah. What do you know? Nothing. <laughs> he seemed to be getting extra cushy with him. <laughs> I just think he's pretty. <laughs> so you've fortune. seen under his mask. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he had a mask. No, I haven't. I think he's a human. Can, can I insight that? Can I insight that? <laughs> I have can I also <laughs> insight that? <laughs> That's true. true. I rolled a 17. 13. Nat 20, baby! Ooh, no. <laughs> I had to stop that real quick. Uh, no. Didn't say anything. Just, I got a natural 20. The first Two step to zero. learning new jokes, you guys, is letting the old ones go. Name drop. Flip uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Put> this tail. <laughs> uh, so what are you trying to do inside again? Because uh, he said he was pretty, and I said, oh, so you've seen how to do his mask. Yeah. And he's like, no, I haven't. And so, you haven't. But I'm straight up yeah. literally. Uh, uh, so you believe but, that he, but what, he hasn't. Okay, but what I figured that he knows without his mask. He said he was pretty. It was a fucking joke. Do you know that he's human? Yeah, he does. He's only that. That was the only one. Yeah, so you know something that we don't, don't you? You do think he does know something you don't? Tell us what it is. I won't. Please. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the Rocky Talkies right now? I. I have uh, one. I don't know. The other one's got the King of the Branches. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't. He got one from Zix, did you? No. Uh, He's just from King we, Ulysses. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. he got mad at us. I don't know. I have one. That's all I know. Yeah. Okay. And the I don't know who's on the other side of the line. <laughs> it's that Ronchez, dude. King of Ronchez. Oh, six. I can call up and then tell <laughs> Yeah, so while you guys are, like, talking about this and trying to, like, uh, get information oh, from uh, Ryan, you feel a vibration, vibration in your pocket. One sec, my phone's going off. <laughs> What's your ring card? <laughs> um, we told you to turn that off every session. <laughs> it's that song. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like, baby, come back. <laughs> I, was a do, do, do. I don't know the lyrics are. But... Yeah. yeah, it's just like, it vibrates to the beat of that song. But anyway, I, uh, I grab it. And, uh, I, like, I kind of look at it weird and I like, 
put it up to the side of my head. I'm like, hello? Hello, this is King Ulysses. Aelrindal, right? Yes, Sir Aelrindal. Sir Aelrindal, yes, I forgot about that. Sorry about that. I, I definitely did forget about that. At <laughs> I keep forgetting about it as well. I should be cranking on that more. All right. Uh, I'm just calling to get an update. How did the adventure into the depths go? Oh, I went pretty good. We made it out alive, so... Everybody's dead. <laughs> <laughs> we, we saved everyone that we could. I um, did not make it out. <laughs> very well, anyway. What what all did you find out there? Can you put it on speaker, please? Uh, <laughs> Give me a second. I'm gonna put you on. I'm gonna put you on speaker. <laughs> I, uh, I put it on speaker. <laughs> I'm like, hey, uh, I put you on speaker phone. Yes, the gang is here. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Yes. What would be speaker, bro? Speaker, bro. Who is that? I don't recognize that voice. <laughs> it's me, Blaze. It's no one. That doesn't sound like Blaze. That's because I was cursed by a runner kid. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Help! Oh! <laughs> uh, yes, sir. You're on number. <laughs> I'll uh, go back later. I am uh, not doing so hot. <laughs> uh, so what? What happened? Like, what did you find? Who did uh, you save? Like, well, we fought a child. You fought a child. <laughs> Garrett almost killed a kid until I caught the arrow. That's not important. That's like the There's minor thing. Possessed, cursed child. Oh. That's like the minor thing. <laughs> the important thing is we went down into the depths. We encountered Al Alcaro. 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 We met this man named Alcaro who helped us with his demon sword. We snuck into one of the uh, the camps of the Shardana and uh, what? He didn't and believe you with the demon. Sword. No, he helped us get oh. in there with his demon oh. sword. Is anyone listening? <laughs> Listen, we got into the camp, we snuck it in, we had to kill one of the guards. Sorry, there's a bit of static. After we saved the guard, or tricked him, sorry, we killed him, and then we went in, we opened up a portal, we got everybody out, but now we found out that there's multiple camps in the depths, so we're gonna have to make our way back. But first, we're gonna kill this monster in a lake, and we're gonna get me back to normal with this magical man, and we're gonna find Mr. Misters and kill him and take everything he has! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot to take in. <laughs> Okay, so backpedaling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Does you know where to start? Yeah. <laughs> uh, are these actually good guys? <laughs> okay, so you almost killed a kid. Is that kid alive? Yes, I yes. saved him. Okay. You? Yeah, I did. I caught the arrow. All right. All right. <laughs> did you catch the arrow? I was back on a bit. <laughs> did you catch the arrow? We sent him back to Broches, didn't we? Oh, or still still be? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Zix Krieger was in charge, so we figured it'd be fine. Yeah, the kid's fine. Okay, great. Yeah, great. Yeah. Second. <laughs> Jesus. So you said you saved a bunch of people. Do you know where those people are from? Were they and were they from Abranches? No. Where were they from? Yeah. They were from like all of the islands here. Oh, yeah, so, like, they were the islanders. All true. No, but we we sent them to Stillsby, right? Or, well, we sent them to Abranches. Yeah, because yeah, 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 right. is yeah. abandoned. So yeah. it's yeah. safe. Like, so we're like, hey, go take people's houses. We sent them your way. They should be arriving in a. A week or two, I think. A fortnight. In a branches? Yes. Okay. But uh, we didn't find the people from the branches. We're going to have to make our way back down there. I think they're at one of the other camps. Okay. Good to know. We're all dead. Overload your fucking city with refugees, and you're going to be super broke taking care of them all, but it's no one there to begin, right? Yeah. Now, a branches can gonna spare the wall. expense. Honestly, what I would do, <clears throat> some advice, is I would lock all the doors to the shops. Because it was super easy for us to take stuff when we were there. <laughs> Didn't you tell us you could take stuff? I know, but I just yeah. mean, like, yeah. you don't want more people taking more stuff. Yeah, I've already locked all the doors, like, when, the moment I got back. All right, that's just walking good. around town, locking doors. <laughs> that's a good king move, you know? I was your kid. <laughs> so, how's the, how's the boy? How's, how's the lad? Is it, how's he doing? He's, he's not, he hasn't. Die. Die. No, again. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, we can break the news. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? What news? What? What news? That's not oh, news. you're uh, you're breaking up. Listen, are you okay though? Yes. Yes. Uh. My kid, who I forget the name right now. 
Oh uh, boy. Uh, Does anyone remember his name? Oh. Yes. Uh, 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 so is it the C? Yeah, it does. No. Cochran. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cochran is doing very well. He's learning a lot about, like I've been teaching him about being a king and leadership. Good. Good. And is he still gonna marry that chick from Stillsby? Oh, the other yeah. guy's not king. Uh, I am unsure right now. We still have to figure that out. We're gonna figure that out once all of this stuff with the Shardana is done with. If we're alive at the end of it. Yeah, hopefully someone else can deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just checking up because, you know, it was a pretty harrowing trip for the boy. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> so much happened. Was I that a smooth sailing when I think about it? <laughs> Listen, we're going to go now. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got lots of stuff to do. Roll deception with advantage. Oh, you <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> oh, nat 20. Nat 20. I got a nat 1. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, but I get the nat 20. Yeah, I also got it. I got a... Uh, 17. Yeah, you've deceived him. Nice. Yeah, really perfect. Uh, uh, let's hang up. Uh, we, we have stuff to do. You said you guys are going to another depths, right? Yes. Another okay. section of the depths. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, it's good to hear that stuff is going moderately well. I wouldn't say that. The Shardana are still on the hunt for literally every one of us. Do you know where the Shardana are right now. Any ideas? Aaron, no. Aaron, Aaron, you know where they are. Just one second. <laughs> I'm going to put you on hold. <laughs> uh, I'm going like, to close my eyes and like stay in uh, focus for a second yeah. and see if I can tell awesome. where Artemis is. So you're pretty music. sure that they're around Shun. Shun? Yeah. Got it, Shun. Man, it's been taking and them a long time. Yep, to feeling Shun. that they'll go to Eel next. Your hometown. Okay. Uh, Damn, so like when he's on hold, about my family. <laughs> when he's on hold, does he hear like smooth elevator music? <laughs> like a do 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 nice classic do 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 Okay, that's good to know. Uh, don't know if I can actually do anything to help, but... No. No. Just stay where you are. With people coming, you're going to be more important than everyone trying to take care of them. It's a good idea. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks for the information. No worries, we'll talk to you later. No problem. Yeah, great. <laughs> Good talk, good talk, good talk, good talk, See good, you. talk good talk, good talk. I hang up. Okay. I love, okay. You. I love you. I was about to say I some mean you. stuff, but I held it in. Or it's going to charge me long distance. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's just all get some rest. Who wants to take first watch? I can do it if you want, or... So wait, do you know what Grace Farron is? No. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh my god, could I say that? Yeah. No, guess what? Bring so what do back. you know? I rolled a sack. <laughs> I also rolled a six. <laughs> this is garbage. How can we not figure this out? Thirty. Oh. <laughs> what? Yes. Oh. Yeah, you believe he's lying. Oh. Listen, man. As I was talking to Zerathos earlier, the key to a good working relationship is honesty. And musical instruments. <laughs> hey, no, that's what uh, Lazarus said. But if you know something, just tell us. Otherwise, the seeker will lead you up inside. Trust me, I would no, know. I don't think it will. Tell me what it is! He's screaming from both of his mouths. <laughs> Can I intimidate him with my rhetoric uh, form? Uh. Uh. uh <laughs> Kind of, we're all supposed to be friends so, here, yeah. so... Oh, you're right, character development, character development, character development. Uh, please, man! It's just my place to sit. Alright, well... That's it! Alright. Are you saying all this stuff that he's been doing, you just... You trust that? That sells you guys, he's an Asimar. I, I, I know it! <laughs> I know it, or else it wouldn't hide his appearance. Totally. Yeah, I trust him. I think he's fun. I think he's unhinged think and he's, unstable. He's a little fucked up, but he's fine. He's trustworthy. Alright, alright. Well, he did try to kill me. 
He's oh. probably working with a Shardana. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he is. I don't know if Sebastian's not here to defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, whatever. Uh, I'll take right, it. Alright, he's gonna come back. We're gonna attack. Yeah, we killed you. <laughs> <laughs> so you really didn't actually have to be here today. Uh, no. Uh, I'll take first watch. Watch out for fear. <laughs> that one got me. That got me. Fuck it out. Alright, yeah. Alright, yeah, I'll take first watch. So I'll stay up. Yeah. And we'll just set up camp, get some rest. Alright. Right my note. Uh, so, uh, while you're keeping watch, just roll a perception check, please. Uh, 17. You hear Zerthos, like, murmuring or muttering in his sleep. It seems to be, like, almost somewhat musical. Mm -hmm. Kind of listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Uh, sing along to Iron Dome. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. Uh, you hear the. It, it seems like it's a song about a city being captured and people being captured. And, Roland. Uh, you could probably assume this is about Maul. Okay. You think this might be another one of his... Prophecies? Yeah. Aren't prophecies supposed to be told before we figure out? Well, that? it's not prophecies, it's also knowing what happens really recently, like, far away and stuff. Right, 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 right. right. Okay. Uh, that's it, though? He's just singing about Maul, basically? Yeah. Okay. Uh... But there's and there's nothing else in like in the woods or anything. We're good there. No, you don't notice anything else. Okay, I won't wake him up then. Okay, I kind of figured out that he like sees the future or what's happening across the world. So, uh, taking, guy. who's taking second watch? I will, because I only need to rest for like four hours. So okay, then I'm gonna get some sleep. So I right, get my long rest. I say, how was how was the watch, Blaze? Ah, uh, uninteresting. Not much really happened. I think I saw like a. A squirrel? That kind of scared me a little bit, but then it just ran away, so I was like, ah, this is a squirrel, so I left it. Cool. Ah, uh, nothing else, though. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'll stay watching. Yeah, just roll another perception check. <laughs> Spicy. Thirteen. You hear Zarathos, like, uh, humming a melody as he sleeps. Uh, and it's a melody I haven't heard ever before. Okay. Um, and it seems of... very... Uh, very, like, I guess, m melodic, I guess. Can't think of a better word for it. Um, I think it's composed. Yeah, composed. Yeah, that's a good word. Oh, okay. Um, can I, like, kind of listen? And, like, is he singing? But, like, do I hear him murmuring any words at all? Or is it no, sad? you just hear, like, him humming a melody. Okay, uh, and it's nothing. I, like I don't recognize it. No. It's just kind of oh, okay. Yeah. So again, you could probably insight that it's like from his divine being, the master. Is it any good? Yeah, it sounds really good. Like it's really catchy and really like soothing at the same time as being uh, like important or like almost like a ballad. I don't. It's probably about me. So all right. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> Someone's full of himself. <laughs> nice. And, uh, no, all right. I'm just gonna keep eating himself. Much, yes. Huh? Said so it's blaze because he keeps eating himself. Whatever. Never mind. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we cut that out. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> that's where we leave off wow. for this episode. <laughs> so <that jokes. laughs> Yo. I feel like you just ended it on purpose. <laughs>